So I've been working in the web accessibility space for about a dozen years now, so 1998, 99, and I was working for an organization in Ottawa, Canada, and as part of that work, um, I became part of a, a demonstration and testing group. Webmasters from the various government departments would come to a, a lab where we had various adaptive technologies, and uh, one of the guys was blind, and one of the guys was a quadriplegic. My friend Paul, he's, he's passed on now, he broke his back in a skiing accident and he became a quadriplegic, and, and he was really, really really a prisoner in his body. I would help him get set up with his laptop and he was using a speech recognition technology that he could actually speak commands to the computer and he would put on his headphone and he'd say, computer, wake up. And all of a sudden, boom, when he connected to the internet, he could do his own banking, he could order his own food and, and have it delivered to the house without relying on the woman to, from the church to go and do his grocery shopping and all that. This man um, is absolutely reliant on this technology to, to be part of society. What can we do to, to help? And so it's, it's not about pity, it's about empowerment, but it was a, a very profound moment for me and that's what kind of set me on my journey. And here I am 12 years later. When the World Wide Web was invented 25 years ago, um, it was very much a text-based medium. And making text accessible is one of the easier tasks that a web developer is faced with. As the web has sophisticated and matured, um, there's a whole bunch of new technologies that are layered onto what we now consider to be the internet or the web. And so some of them really do introduce um, some troubling problems. There's some issues that we're, we're working through. There's absolutely a need for specialization in, in the field of web accessibility. And the accessibility thought process needs to be part of your, your greater toolbox of tools that, that you apply. When you put a challenge down in front of an engineer, they, they've been bred and trained to solve problems. That's what engineers do, is they engineer solutions to problems. The best we can do today is accommodation. Right? So how do we provide the accommodation for those that are outside? Communicating the message to the wider audience, the wider development community, in that kind of fashion, and saying, these are challenges. It's about understanding. It's about multimodal understanding. It's about taking information and sharing it in many different ways and many different channels and empowering the end user to actually access that information. And part of the issue is not so much the why, but the how. So I think the awareness of accessibility is continuing to increase. I mean, the, the, the experts in this field need to position themselves that way. We need to keep it front and center. We're here to help you move the ball forward.